It's a brand new year and tonight we are kicking things off with a list of the top PBA rising stars as we're joined by a pair of legends. That's right, it's not Dip and I. <laughs> We've got two-time PBA champ and PBA brush analyst coach Topex Robinson alongside seven-time PBA champ LA Tenorio. Gentlemen, welcome to the game. LA, kamusta ka? Uh, I'll talk to coach Topex later because he's here. Hey, good evening everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year to all the viewers and listeners. Happy New Year, LA, and of course, uh, Coach Topex. How are you? How's your New Year? Obviously, excited. Excited for 2023. Uh, excited to be here with you guys. Yeah, I'm excited for your 2023 as well. <laughs> so let's focus first on the the fact that yung lista natin dito, LA Coach Topex, is not official. Yeah. So this is just a list uh, selected by these gentlemen over here. We're gonna start off first with Coach Topex. It's na napaka bias yung pick niya. He picked first. See, as one of the top rising stars. See. Tyler Dio of Phoenix. Uh, Eli, I'll ask you to scout him later on. Pero Coach Topex, what made him so special? I guess uh, the fact that uh, he went further uh, in, in the draft. Uh, obviously, coming into this uh, season, uh, nobody really... I, I was surprised that he ended up on, on my lap at number 12. But he really has produced numbers. Uh, big question was uh, when Matthew left. Yeah. I mean, I guess uh, Tyler Tio was the guy that at least... Uh, I'm not saying filling the void, but at least giving us uh, a bright hope. Mm -hmm. LA, ito si Tyler Tio was, uh, you can say, backup point guard ni SJ Bilangel back in their Ateneo days. Pero here in Phoenix for Coach Topex, no, he played a crucial role uh, in their, their offense, even started for them uh, in their games. LA, you've played with him. Ano masasabi mo tungkol kay Tyler Tio on his first year here in the PBA? Um, well, Tyler is my boy ever since... Uh, <laughs> Ateneo days, uh, nakita ko na yung potential ni Tyler, no? Uh, actually, Coach Topic, Coach Topic is right, no? I was really surprised na nasa parang second round na siya or late first mm. round na siya, eh. Di ba? So, I have a lot of, ano talaga, parang uh, yung high praise ko talaga dito kay Tyler. And every time we play uh, against uh, Phoenix, against Tyler, talagang uh, medyo malaking problema namin. He always play good against us and I think na mas na heighten up yun nung uh, nawala si uh, si Matthew Wright yeah. so I think he's you know he's gonna be one of the you know uh, I think I will I will agree with this one uh, he will be the <laughs> future star in the PBA no? kahit mm. na si Coach Topex medyo bias <laughs> pero agree naman ako dyan <laughs> and of course uh, <laughs> Again, sinabi natin kanina na may konting bias yung listahan na to because it was made by Coach Topex Robinson. So we're gonna go and skip yung number 2 pick na to mm. number 3 pick. Encho Serrano, uh, another Phoenix Super LBG Fuel Master. Uh, Coach Topex, I'll ask you about him later. I wanna go straight to LA muna. Kasi LA, you actually got to see Encho Serrano nung nasa 3x3 ng Ginebra pa siya. Yeah. Are you surprised with what he has come up with in the PBA so far knowing what he's done here? Uh, no, actually, uh, we call him the, the fearless Encho no? when he was playing actually uh, in uh, in Hinebra 3x3. No? Yun yung tawag sa kanya, fearless. Talagang, ano yun eh? Uh, I'm sure alam ni Coach Topex yan. Talagang uh, uh, sugod yan, tsaka laba yan. Eh. And then when I, you know, when I saw him play, actually when I see him play the, the, the whole conference, no? para nakikita ko nga si Scotty when he was, you know, when he was starting. Uh, he's all over the place. He's getting the rebounds against the big guys, you know, driving to the basket. You know, and, you know, the, the kid is really, you know, uh, fearless. And marami pang, marami papayarapan to. Uh, malaki mm -hmm. potential lumbatan to. So, I guess, eh, I guess I have to uh, agree again to Coach Topics. Medyo bias, pero meron pa ba yan? Mga palat na rookie nila, nilagay nila dyan. <laughs> Hindi, ito meron tayo na oh. hindi naman part ng Phoenix. No? Okay, okay. And I'm sure Coach Topic, Topic's already putting Encho there would agree with everything that LA said. Pero ito, uh, ang naiba sa tatlo, si Atu Ular from Blackwater Bossing na I think Coach Topic you were quite familiar with dahil nakaharap niyo rin ba sila ng NCAA. Uh, how would you describe his game kumpara nung college and now in the pros? Actually, he was a really a big surprise for uh, for the even uh, for the PBA. I think Coach LA, uh, LA also was uh, coaching uh, part of the right, coaching staff of Petran. Right. So, mm. para naman na uh, even Steven, I, I, I guess nung college siya, he wasn't really as yung potential niya mm. to be where yeah. he is right now. Again, I have, I know he has one, but 
I never expected it to be that mm. quick. Yeah. Because uh, he just all of a sudden started making threes. Uh. <laughs> so those are those are things, and he was confident. The reason why I put him there because when he played against them, he really uh, burned it from the outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, LA, again, you've seen si Atol are up close. Nagulat ka ba sa production niya? Because as Coach Topix mentioned, this, uh, the college numbers didn't necessarily say na, okay, he's gonna be this guy right. sa PBA. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a bit surprised then also. He was my, you know, he was my player no? uh, back in uh, the first championship of Letran. Um, actually, he's really a role player. No, He's mm -hmm. not... Looking for a, he's not looking for his shots. He's, he's just a, para siyang scavenger. Yeah. No? Tagapulut lang yan and timing, timing lang. But, but I see the, no, I see the future in him because he really works hard. Mm -hmm. no? Yung kid, talaga meron siyang ano eh, parang meron siyang chip in his shoulder. Uh -huh. eh, parang, may gusto siya improve every time. So, and he's a, he's a hard worker, no, in practice and uh, I'm sure. Kaya rin siya nagkaroon ng mga outside shooting. Actually, humaba yung range niya eh. Nagulat mm. din ako. Nagkaroon siya ng three points. No? Yeah. Uh, uh, siguro, pinapractice din talaga niya uh, for him to improve. Kasi, alam niya, may mas malalaki sa kanya eh. Compared yeah. sa college, di ba? Siya na isa sa malalaki. But here in the PBA, there's more taller no and stronger player than him. So, siguro, added to to his weapon, yun niya, pre-practice niya yung three-point shots niya. And, you know, but mainly, uh, I'm a bit surprised also, talaga. Eh, yeah. Pero, so itong player na to, uh, si Ato, kasi siyempre player ko yun. <laughs> yan, yan yung bias. Yan, yun, eh. yan din may bias. Oh. But then, uh, LA, please don't go away because we have a lot more to talk right. about Coach Topex. We'll also stay here. That is because, Dip, after the break. After the break?